Hi, Dana. It's Regan White. Um, I think there's been a misunderstanding. You cannot add those uh, iDesign icons to the title like this. If you'll look at my canvas module, these colored backgrounds and these icons here, these are not iDesign. This is something that I do uh, because I can, basically. Uh, I think you had said you didn't really want the background colors, uh, but you were interested in changing the text to the color. I can show you how to do this, and I can show you how to add these little icons. But what I cannot do is show you how to add the, uh, the uh, canvas icons. The reason that I can't is because they are based in HTML. Those are images, and that is HTML code that you're pasting, and these little boxes, the, the title boxes for, uh, oh, what do you call it, for the module titles, for the page titles, for the assignment titles, these things are specifically geared not to recognize HTML code. Uh, it's a thing that Canvas has. For some reason, they've decided that it is against, uh, uh, what you call it, equity, to uh, allow colors to be added here because some people can't see colors. I have no clue uh, why they think that, but that's that was the, the reason that was given in the uh, post it's been asked for about a thousand times by different instructors who want to be able to color code and add icons and pictures into their titles and they will not allow it. The icons that you're adding go in the page and they go into the page uh, up here in this area. But uh, those, you'll notice that the title is still green in this case, It's it, but it's up here. The icons go into the page. That's that's just the way it is. I can show you how to change the colors and color code it. I can show you how to add these small, what these icons are that I use as kind of a coding system. These are uh, basically font. The way that you get to these things, well, let me just, let me, let me edit one here and I'll show you. And I'll also show you how to change the colors. Uh, so let's say this course user guide, I want to change that and I want to make it green. Or let's make it something different. Let's make it uh, let's make it purple. So it really doesn't matter. Canvas will recognize all these colors. So we're going to click over here. And we're going to click on Edit, and here is the title block. Now you cannot you can't type HTML code in here. You can't put icons or any color changes from HTML. But what you can use is a language called LaTeX because. Chrome recognizes LaTeX independently of whatever page it's in. It just recognizes LaTeX, period. So uh, and it's kind of like HTML and it's a markup language. But this is just an example, and I can give you copy and paste examples to, to use if you want to go ahead and do this. But once again, it is not HTML and it's not the uh, iDesign icons. But if you did want to do that, you start off with... Uh, backslash parenthesis that's the tag it's kind of like the angle brackets in HTML in the space and then backslash and you tell it in this case we're going to color the text we're not going to put a, a box behind it so you just tell it color and then you inside curly brackets you tell it what color we're going to go purple and then inside the next set of curly brackets you're going to say uh, meet your no course user guide that's what this is called put the text that you actually want to affect and then close it, close brackets, and then close uh, parentheses. Now, if you wanted to add one of those little icons, what you would do is you hit the window key, what is it, alt window key, or period window key. Yes, it is indeed period, the period key, and then the windows key, that little key down there between control and alt that opens up your windows menu. When you do that, you're going to get this menu of icons, and there's a lot of them. Uh, the thing is, these are not iDesign icons. These are included in Windows. Now, you have a lot of choices, and I usually use... Uh, oh, I usually use the ones that are uh, built in, like this uh, memo. I use it for assignments, and this one I use for videos, and this one I use for books, things like that. Uh, I... But that's a thing that I do on my own just because I like having assignment uh, titles with icons in them. 
Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work. But if you did want to use it, you just click on it one time and then close it. Now that you've got all that in, when you hit update, you notice our text is purple and you notice that we have the little icon in there. But that's what we're doing. Then when you go into look at the page, we still have purple text, we still have the icon, but we did not put this icon in there. And like I said, the reason you can't do that is because this is HTML code and the title boxes, it's a function of Canvas. They're specific about that. They don't want you to be able to put in code in there, which is really annoying. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, it shouldn't be that way, but it is. So anyway, uh, I hope that clears up any misconceptions that you may have had about being able to put these icons up here. You just can't. That that is not a physical possibility. In fact, that's not that's why they're not there. If they were, if it was possible to do this, believe me, we would have. We would have put in this icon and this text up here and life would have been a lot better for all of us. But unfortunately, that's not possible. So I hope that cleared up. If you're interested in color coding your text for module and assignment and uh, page titles and whatnot, holler at me, let me know, and I can show you how to put that little, that little latex code in there. We can at least control the color. You can set up a color coding system and you know, have all your assignments red and all your information pages green etc and we can even put some of those other little icons in there we can do that we just can't put in the iDesign material in there because that's a no-no but anyway I'm sorry if there was any confusion and I hope that helps have a good day